And uh, radiology. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to introduce the new surgical registrar, Dr. Um, Caroline, Caroline Todd. Todd. Dr. Alan uh, um, Statham, Statham, consultant yeah. radiologist. Welcome to the Lunatic Asylum. You don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. Well, no. Come on, hang on now. The, 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 the doctors aren't mad. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 uh, that certainly wouldn't be allowed. Not on my level. Uh, there again, we are uh, an equal opportunities employer, so I dare say there might be one or two of the ancillary workers or even some of the clerical staff who might be considered a little bit... Oh, dear oh, God. Sorry, we're going to have to be moving along. So sorry to just... Uh... Yeah. What a night. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a bit stiff. A few aching... Uh, probably a little bit of a groin strain. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and... Oh, oh, an aching tongue. Kind of my staff working with aching tongues. Your staff? Yeah, my staff. I am the surgeon. You are my anaesthetist. I'm not your anaesthetist. You're my surgeon. You're my surgeon bitch. No, you create the environment in which I can do my job. Cut it open, bitch. Gas her fucker. Sew it up, gimp. You are essentially part of my team. What? I'm not part of your team. You are part of my fucking what team. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not part of your you team. You are part of my team. You're part of my anus. You are like the unprofessional co-pilot that causes a massive aeroplane disaster because he has no real sense of his true position. How you owe me respect by being part of my team. I am the captain, you are effectively the first officer. No, I'm the captain, you're the trolley dolly. I bet you I'm the captain. Bet you I am. I bet you I am. Bet you I am. Bet you I am. Bet you don't even know where the cockpit is. All right, here we go, let's make it fair. Whoever gets the newest member of the surgical team to spend the night at their place first gets to be captain. Why? You're too late, I win! Why? <laughs> You're, you're the baby, I'm the sorry, placenta. Sorry, sorry. Could I, could I get some more nuts, Yeah, please? Yeah, well, you can't I'm, use mine because they're all... I'm trying to fly They're my squeezed plane. out, they're juiced out, you know what I'm saying? Plane. Could you go and clean the toilet? They've been... Yeah? I've been using my nuts. Get in. Have you? Yeah. All night! Debs. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> my domain. Sorry? You are entering my territory, yeah? I am the master of all I survey. In here, in here, I perform the most delicate and intricate operations and procedures on the human body. If, God forbid, something should go wrong, somebody dies. That's it. The end. You've killed them. No, but it's over. You can't just buy another one. Yeah? You can't just, you can't, okay. sorry, you can't just swap up to a G4 megahertz killer drive whopper thing, whatever, okay? I'm at the cutting edge. Stand aside, please, information technology boy. Somebody needs my help. Nurse, what have we got? Knee arthroscopy. Right, tricky, yeah. You see, it's not all about a pretty boy face around here. All right, little lady, let's get this show on the road. Oi! Back off, butcher. It's sort of against hospital policy, <clears throat> but uh, I've been thinking. Oh, yes, thinking. This is good. You may proceed. You see, I had an idea. <laughs> I think you'll find me a reasonable woman. So please, tell me this idea of yours. Right, well, I was thinking about an indoor smoking area for staff, if they smoke. Yeah. And it might seem a bit retrogressive as policies go. Yeah, some would say it was unacceptable, a sign of weakness. Yeah, well, I know we shouldn't really do it, but I think these smoking areas would definitely make people's lives easier. Well, as I see it, there's only one thing for it. We must contact Berlin without delay, Vosprong. Berlin? 
Oh, okay. what, some sort of centralised EU decision type thing. Hang on. Are you talking to me like a Nazi from a film? Um, nothing could be further from the truth. If you're talking to me like a Nazi from a film, I'm going to complain to someone. I think that these things you are imagining. Wait, you. S you, Claudette. To what are the French referring when they speak of a woman's cassoulette? Um, her makeup bags. Wrong. Uh, sacks. Mm. Um, uh, very large baskets. Utterly, utterly wrong. The sortilege of odours emanating from a woman is known as her cassoulette. What? The smell of her perfume mingling with her skin, her bodily fluids, her shampoo which all come together to make... A dirty, minging woman. Trust the bloody French to make it sound romantic. Eight points to one. Thank you very much. Shush. Bow down to the master. Shush. OK, I'll give you an easy one. Who wrote Paradise Lost? We said no book questions. What am I, a girl? Yes, you are, but I'll tell you anyway. The answer I is... I don't care. Answer it's is... irrelevant to the quiz and mankind. John Milton. Thank you very much. Bring on the next contestant, please. Well, what an absolute tragedy there. By posing an illegal question, he loses ten points. So it's another handsome victory for the young anaesthetist by one point to minus two. Get in. I love your cassolette. <laughs> oh God! God, sorry, I'm sorry. Good, good. No, that's good. That's um, that's excellent. Um, I, I, I can assure you, Miss Claw, that that your um, your your toe bone is is, is certainly not broken. It's, it's probably just strained. So uh, there we thank are. Thank you, thank um, you, Doctor Staten. Using the uh, the old uh, pre radiology diagnostic technique of checking for broken bones um, orally. Mm -hmm. So I better get on on my way. Plenty more bones to suck. Check. Think positively. Breathe. And just do it. It'll be fine. Here, yeah, it isn't. We're here for you. What the fuck is all this therapy shit? It's here. What is Christmas? A new ice age? A cleaner, brighter wash? What? Martin's got his resolve. Oh, is it terminal? His MRCP. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah, so do I. It's the aroma of women who care mingled with Martin's fear. So if, if I've failed, that, that's going to be the end. Oh, thank God for that. Look, this is actually quite a big deal, in case you haven't noticed. OK, then. Well, let's get it. Over with. No, no, you can't. No, come on, it's eating away at you like a cancerous growth. Let's whip it out. Guy, you can't do that. I'll do it. Angela! <laughs> Listen, you'll thank me for this later. Let's get it over and done no. with. Martin, maybe it's for the best. Okay, right. Whatever I do, don't stop. Just open it, okay? All right. No, I was, no, no, Can I you restrain him, please? Can you restrain him? Oh. Ready? Here I go. Oh, here it is. You can hear that? That's the result. There it is. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh -huh. Ooh. I know the answer. Oh, God. It's in my head. It exists. Do you want to hear it? No. Yes. Go on, tell me, quick. Martin, dear. Yeah. You have... Oh, come on, Guy. Get on with it. OK. Now, Martin, dear. Suck my cock. No! Yes. Well, Martin might want to in a minute because congratulations, Martin, you have passed with merit. You are now a proper. Pass, he failed. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> what? 
What? What?